Hi guys, your girl Sika here again, bringing you another dose of For the Love of Sika. Um, the love has been absolutely amazing. I can't even begin to tell you the messages I'm getting in my DMs, the comments and things like that. And you know, I said I was so afraid of letting people into my space um, and just being like authentically open about stuff that goes on in my life. But yeah, you guys are giving me strength. <laughs> You're giving me strength and it's one that I would definitely need for this video because it's a very raw and touchy subject to me. So just bear with me guys, you know. Um, after I mentioned my dad's passing in the other video, um, you know, people reached out to me because people are going through such difficult losses and, and such grief and we don't know how to sort of deal and work through our grief so this is me just trying to share with you what my journey has been since I lost my dad who I was very close to. I, I really do hope that it will help somebody out there to be able to deal with loss as well because it's not easy. The truth is it never goes away. It never goes away. Something will remind you of the person whether it's a smell or um, a picture or last time I saw his clothes just kind of lying around and it was just very difficult. So 8th of November 2021 was actually um, a year of celebrating one year since my dad passed. Um, I remember I was in South Africa, called my mom and both of us just literally we just cried. We didn't say anything on the phone. We just cried. And my mom being the prayer warrior she is, you know, she was like, Sika, he's looking after us. He's up there. He's he's with God, you know, kind of thing. And, um, you know, me and God, like, we day, but, you know, sometimes it's, it's, just, it's just very difficult. I think what makes it even worse is that my dad died a day before my mom's birthday. In fact, we thought he had died on my mom's birthday. So when we had to tell her it was he had passed away, we like we didn't know because we didn't want to, you know, the memory of every birthday being associated with my dad's death. But we called the hospital and they said no, he actually died literally minutes till 12 o'clock. So we kind of like okay, at least we can separate the two. But it's always going to be a celebration because every time it was my mom's birthday, he would sing for her, you know. He would make sure that we wished her happy birthday so it was a very special moment for both of them so for those of you who asked my dad was diagnosed with a cancer called multiple myeloma about 10 years ago um, it's a cancer that affects the bone marrow and for all my science quiz people who know who are very smart you know that um, a lot of like the red blood cells come from there and obviously immunity being able to fight other diseases and stuff really kind of stem from there so um, because it was affecting that he used to get sick you know quite a lot um, and if you knew my dad you knew that he was a man's man you know um, he always liked to do things by himself basically very proactive very you know the words failed me but it was very difficult you know it was very difficult the fact that he couldn't do all those things for himself and stuff like that um, when he passed away, the process to get to the hospital, we were all there and we, we kind of saw kind of life leaving him, you know, so I guess the images of that is still in my head. Which makes the grief harder because you always constantly remember last you know breaths and stuff like that and being so close to him actually the name Sika is I was named after his sister one of his really closest sister that took care of him when he was in London so just from the jump the fact that I was called Sika um, and Christine people don't know me actually my day ones know me by my English government name Christine <laughs> um, so when people call me Christine now I'm just like ooh, day one day one um, Christine Sika was his sister 
and he named me after his sister so i'm a daddy's girl through and through i'm not even going to be shy about it like um and i'm the last born too so you understand it was <laughs> it was a proper um proper close connection so losing him has been hard um and like i said it's never gonna get easier it's always gonna be there but the way i've been able to deal with it i obviously went through the periods of different stages of grief denial oh it's not you know trying to block it out of my head stuff like that um, even doing things you know people say always remember the happy memories of him which is great I think one of like my healing mechanisms is the fact that I always remember things about him that made me laugh whether it was his funny dance he used to do he used to do this dance be where he just just be snapping his fingers thinking he could dance um, his words of wisdom because he always had wise words um, but I think here in this part of the world we are taught to sort of hold back our feelings and I think that is the worst thing that you can do you need to be honest and true to your feelings at the very point in which you're feeling them so right now I'm trying to hold back but really, if I feel like crying, I'm going to cry. If I feel like laughing, I'm going to laugh. If I feel like I want to be in my room by myself, I'll be in my room by myself. If I feel like I want to share, I want to share. And it's in those moments that you actually start to get healing. And not the moments where you pretend like, yeah, everything okay. Because everything isn't okay. So if you're dealing with loss, just be true to your emotions. Be true to your feelings and acknowledge that, yes, I am missing this person. I am hurt it doesn't mean I'm not gonna go on but in this moment this is how I feel and if anybody has a problem with it well they can go and argue with their transformer or argue with their dustbin it doesn't really matter right it's all about you and getting that healing so I know he's watching down on me I know he wanted to walk me down the aisle I know he wanted to hold his grandkids it didn't happen but I know I know he'll be proud he'll be proud so anyway um, on that note thank you for always showing me love and always remember that with everything that you do be true to yourself for the love of you for the love of me and for the love of Sika see you next time